wish I had the angle mod like just a Pollux car because I could have thrown that a lot harder. For all your NRG innovation product needs, make sure you check out driveenergy.com. That's D-R-I-V-E NRG.com. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are sitting here staring down a 2015 Mustang GT wrapped in the Justin Pollock teal and blue for this year. But today we are here to do another drift build. Since I am back from vacation, I did take a couple days off to go on vacation with my fiance to Wisconsin to see some of her family for a family reunion. It was a lot of fun getting out and not having to worry about work or anything else. So we are here today to do another subscriber tune because I had a lot of fun doing the last subscriber tune. And I got a message on that video from... A subscriber asking to do a drift tune for him from Caleb Marshall. He wanted to, uh, the newest Mustang GT, not the GT350R, the GT. So we are here today to do another build to see if we can't get this car built sideways and we'll probably take it to an online session where we will probably get hit and smashed around. But we're here to do a drift build on this Mustang GT and uh, what fitting to have the teal and blue Falcon tires livery on there so we're gonna go head right into the shop and we're gonna get this upgrade shop going um i think we're gonna leave it how it is right now and see where we sit at we're not gonna do any of those go to sport tires because we're probably gonna run some sports on this we'll leave it at 255s and we'll leave it at 275s and then of course we're gonna have to choose probably some hre wheels There we go. And then, oh, we're keeping those. I think we're gonna keep the stock size of 19s because going any bigger would probably be a bad idea for a drift tune. Although my ESDA car runs 20s, but we're not gonna get into that. We're gonna fully do all this. Everybody knows when you're doing a drift tune, you gotta have all the best drivetrain components and limited slip or rear differential. And we are going to go with full brakes. Full brake suspension, which we'll tune up. We are not going to do sway bars. Of course, we are going to go cage because this is going to be pretty much an FD spec car. And we're going to drop it down as much as we can. And now we get into the power additives. We'll see what we can get out of this. It's already at 420. It's a pretty, uh, pretty nice uh, starting point for that. We're gonna see where I wanna go. I don't wanna make this too outrageously powered, but then again, a full built GT might be fun. 558s. We'll probably go full because this car is just normally aspirated and no aspirations will be put on it. We are gonna run stock motor. I am having a lot of fun doing these stock motor builds. So we are at 619, which is a very, a very decent number we are going to leave sport tires on we may drop them down or leave them on so now we're going to get into the tuning of the car but first we're going to find a circuit where we're going to test this we'll probably go maple valley haven't been there in a while and then now uh, we're going to get the tuning aspect done on the car and uh we're going to go send on send it on the track and see what we can do oh look we're already at maple valley on a drift section well that's just peachy all right so we're going to get right into the tuning of this uh, we are going to drop our tire pressures down. And then we'll leave the gearing because we're not sure where we're going to go with gearing. We're only going to do 2, 5, and 1. And then we're going to do 1.2, 5, and then we're going to kick this up all the way. And then, of course, we're going to soften the car up because I found it's a lot easier to drift a softer tuned car. And we are going to drop it, but we're going to raise the front end a little bit. See if we can't get that uh, three-wheel motion going on the Mustang. Probably not going to happen in Forza, but maybe it'll happen in the new Horizon 4 or maybe with the drift spec cars that are coming to the game because I know Justin Pollock's car is one of them. So we're going to drop this down to do basically a tandem-style brake. And we're going to kick that back up. 
and then we're gonna kick this up to 75 so we're gonna go with that to start off and uh, I think we are pretty much almost set for this track so we gotta get the wheel cam turned on a little bit further back this time seeing the energy innovations bucket seat 350 millimeter energy innovations wheel logitech wheelbase because of my hydraulic handbrake with energy sh top mount sequential shifter we do have still set up i am enjoying the sequential mod it is a lot of fun and quick reference for uh gearing just a quick pop one way or another and uh we're good to go so we are here at maple valley in a subscriber built tune trying to build this subscriber a drift car that he can use so we're gonna head to the track and uh, see what we can do. So I'm not quite sure how this is gonna react right away. So uh, we'll see. Gearing probably has to get changed, but we're gonna send it in anyways. Yeah, the gear ratio is definitely gonna have to get adjusted. But not too bad right out of the box. I cut that way too early. So before we get too into this, we're gonna quit this, change the gear ratio a little bit, and actually adjust uh, the toe a little bit because I did notice that the toe could use a little adjustment. I got the rabbit over in my ear, just scratching away at his container. All right, we're gonna adjust this right now. We're gonna have to adjust the gear ratio, a little bit more acceleration on the on the car about 355 and then we are going to increase the toe up and kick the camber up a little bit and go there and then we're gonna go uh, try and send this again and um, hopefully we can get a better send on this with the gear ratio changed a little bit the power was okay but uh, for a little bit better on the ratios That's a little better. Going full send. Cuts that a little bit shorter than I wanted to. But we got it. And now I think the gear ratio might be a little bit too short, but I should have shifted in the fourth. So we're still okay on that. Transition seems good. With that toe change. I mean, we still didn't lose all those points, so we're still uh, still pretty well in, into this. Kick it in. Back the other way, there we go. Wrong way. I totally screwed up my initiation there, but we're still good. Go. Easy on the throttle. I thought I could be slick and shift in the fourth there, but apparently I should have stayed in third. I think we're going to switch that gear ratio back a little bit. Because I think now we are too much acceleration. I want to be drifting in about third gear and I'm uh, topping out third, so. We, but the car transitions are pretty nice, except for right there, but we still didn't lose our points, so. I think we need to do a little bit more camber in the car and then uh, just that ratio a little bit and we should be pretty good to go and we're gonna probably send this car like I said into an online session see how it does in a pack but we are gonna make a few more minor tweaks to the car but I'm actually uh, quite happy with how stable this car is I have a GT 350R that I love a lot never made one of these GTs yet so but I think I think we're good
Sounds sweet, looks amazing, and uh, we just lost all the points. So we're gonna try this transition section again, and then we're gonna adjust it and probably send it straight to an online session. Wish I had the angle mod like just a Pollux car because I could have thrown that a lot harder. Stay in third, just pedal the brakes a little bit, a little left foot brake to keep from over revving too much, and there we go. So much better. So, left foot braking is the key with this car right now. With the gear ratio set that it has. I mean, we can run the dirt line. So like I said, we're gonna go make a few adjustments on the car and then uh, set to an online session. So let's make those quick, fine adjustments and then we'll go find an online session and we'll set this car in an online session, see how it does. So for adjustments on this, we are going to go back on speed a little bit for gear. No, I don't wanna say that right away. We are gonna kick that up to one nine and probably kick that to one five actually drop that by two and should be good to go to an online session so let's catch you guys once I find a session with this car and uh, we can see how it does in a pack <clears throat> what better way to test this car right away than jumping into a session that is uh, right in the rain we tested the other car in the rain so we are gonna test this car in the rain as well uh, the grip on the dry on this car is very very nice so we are going to test this car in the rain and um, give it a shot at Brad's Hatch in the rain. Um, looks like we get another 2015 Mustang rocket over there. Lingenfelter. And we got some uh, pretty interesting cars. A couple FD cars it looks like. So uh, Brad's Hatch in the rain. Justin Pollock's livery on the side, Roush Racing Falcon tires, BC coils, Exeti clutches. I believe there's a lot of other one links electronics. So we are going to send this on Brands Hatch in the rain. Give this uh, subscriber build car another go here at the rain and see how it handles in the rain. Hopefully, we can uh, get a good place here in this online session. We've been waiting for cars for a while, and I feel like there's not a lot of cars. There we go. We are up front, and it's not raining yet. So, we get as many points as we can while it's not raining. So, we can see how many points we can get while it's not raining. It's a really hard turn, but the car was able to hold that, so we're good on that. Ooh, don't hit me, man. You good? There we go. Got a guy tandeming right there behind us. I see you back there. Oh, he lost it. Hopefully that wasn't because of me. Brent's Hatch is a very different track. I can't say I've drifted this track much before. So this car, this track is supposed to be in the rain, but you know we're not really complaining. There we go. Kick it back, throw it back that way. I'm okay with that. Long e-brake grab, stay. Just a grass drop, just a little, just a little grass drop. We're okay on that. Throw it down the second. So I definitely like how this car is driving right now. It is very stable. I messed up the first turn, otherwise I probably would have more points in the bank right now but gear ratio changes are good and 
dude just chill in there? Okay. That's a sign. Throw it in. Here we go, cook the front grass. We got this. Still in a podium spot, so that's nice. I don't know what is in the middle of the track right there. I feel like it's gonna start raining here in a minute. Maybe when the rain hits, we'll be uh, good to get some points up closer to second and first, because we're not far behind. That was a really early initiation. A little clutch kick does it. I feel like this uh, this GT tune is uh, very nice, and uh, it's pretty fun to drive. It's pretty stable. It's you know third place right now, but. Maybe when it rains, probably should stay in fourth for there, but. Stay on track. Take it back, there we go. Quick cut of that turn, that was, a, oh, that was beautiful. Oh, that was not. I don't want to hit that man. Oh, it's the other GT. Let's see if we can maybe get some tandems. Try not to. Oh man, he's ripping that. I probably should have been fourth and probably ripped that with him. But we're uh pretty comfortably in third. The other GT is in second right in front of us. See if maybe we can't get up there and uh, try and throw some doors. Picking them third, there we go. Oh, I thought I was gonna throw that too much. I did not, we were able to save that, so. We are comfortably in third, but we are pretty far off of uh, second, so no break there. Stay in power. So definitely happy with how this car drives. Going to be leaving this as another car in my arsenal of random drift cars. I'm having a lot of fun doing these stock motor drift builds, so if you guys have another car that you guys want to try, or you want to tune build for let me know down in the comment section down below i'd be happy to uh give them a shot because i am having a lot of fun doing these basically subscriber drift builds we're gonna cut that too short sacrifice line for angle even though we're not really trying to Get really super close to him. I would like to uh, maybe try and get some tandems in there with the other GT. Oh, through too much or just enough. I threw that just as hard as he did and uh, we both uh, decided to just drop tires. This is behind me. Oh, looks like uh Alex Hilbrim's car is back there. Here we go. At least we're in a lobby where people aren't bashing each other. I wonder if that Alex Hilbram is the guy in first. It is. So we are sandwiched between the main guys. He uh, probably threw it way too much trying not to hit me. Oh, he just DC'd or did I DC? Seems like a lot of people just dropped. 
because now we're in second and there's only three cars left. I feel like somebody, something just happened on the Forza servers. So we got 50 seconds left. We're gonna finish this round off. So if you guys like seeing you guys wanna see more here on Forza Motorsport 7, don't forget to tap that like button, subscribe. I do appreciate all the support as well as get that bell notification if you want instant notifications of the daily uploads. If you guys have another subscriber that wants a tune built or design, let me know down in the comment section down below what kind of car it is and such. And I will do my best to try and get one set up and I'm having a lot of fun with this car so we are definitely going to keep this GT how it is and uh, use it with some of my friends or maybe in some open sessions that I will be doing here soon so we're going to take second because of uh, everybody DC so until next time guys you know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram all of which you found in the description box below as always I like thank you guys for watching I'm Evil Rabbit and uh, we took second by I guess disqualification. I'm your old rabbit. I'm out.